why you can trust women again after you've leveled yourself up as a man. So I had an ex-girlfriend that cheated on me several times. It was the kind of thing where, you know, she was out working night shift and I was at home cooking her kids dinner, putting them to bed. And I invested so much in the relationship and then she was out, you know, doing shady shit. Fast forward to today, I've been with the same woman, my wife, for the last three years. She's a CrossFit coach. She's an entrepreneur. Uh, she trains Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with me. She knows Judo. Uh, she's a Taekwondo black belt. Um, really, really savvy, high-quality woman. Now, obviously, if I took my experiences with my ex-girlfriend and I made that the benchmark for expectations for all future women, I would have met such an amazing woman because she would sense that I don't trust her, and she would sense that I have a chip on my shoulder, and therefore... There was no opportunity for us to collaborate or cooperate in a relationship. And this is the tragedy of when after men get burned, what they do is they start reading books like Rational Mail or they start listening to Red Pill Podcasts and they start assuming that women are the enemy or at least that they cannot be trusted. And so what I would prompt you to think about for a second is the fact that, yes, women are hypergamous. They do have a tendency to trade up for the best man that they could get. But likewise, we as men have a desire biologically to hook up with every girl under the sun. And so when you start considering whether or not you can actually trust a woman again, you might take a second to think about, hey, can I even trust myself? Can I control myself enough to not even cheat on the next girl they get into a relationship with? And for a lot of you guys, I realize the answer to that question might be a little dicey. But if you think back into your life, you've had moments where you've been loyal and faithful and even maybe today you're willing to be that guy. And I know plenty of guys that are. And so it goes to show that we can break our biological programming. Think about it. We're programmed to be fat and lazy, to seek calories, to avoid pain and hardship and all, do all these things. And yet we've got bodybuilders. We've got people that accomplish amazing things in business despite the fact that they too want to sit on the couch and eat Cheetos to some degree. So as you level up as a man, you're going to find that the woman that you are now compatible with, you know, uh, she cares about fitness. She cares about finances. She cares about relationships. She cares about spirituality, all these different things, right? And she wants permanency in her life. She wants a good man that can provide an amazing life for her, right? She wants somebody that she can trust as well, okay? A woman is not without her own hurdles that she has to jump through in life, even though it, life is a lot easier, of course, when you're attractive, right? So if you're a guy and you're consuming red pill information, remember that you don't want to just listen to information sources that present the problem, you also want to find information sources that present the problem but address a solution with it, okay? So there's hope for the future. You can trust women, and you don't have to be eternally bitter.